In this video, we're going to take a look at how to create that Craftsman screwdriver case in Activity 134 called CAD Modeling Skills. So in order to start this file out, we're going to start with a new component, and we're going to name it to be called the Screwdriver Base. And this is the active component now, so I can go ahead and I'm going to say Start or Create Sketch, and I'm going to click the top plane to start sketching. The very first thing we're going to do is I'm going to choose under Polygon, and I'm going to choose an Edge Polygon. So I'm going to go ahead and purposely I'm going to draw this off the origin. I'm going to draw a line, draw a line length, and the line length that I want is 1.125. I'm going to hit Enter, and then I can go through and set that I want a five-sided polygon to make this happen. Click to set the polygon in there. And I right click to say OK to stop sketching. I'm going to go ahead and pull this dimension down a little bit. I'm going to choose the constraint for coincident under constraints. Choose the center point of the pentagon. Choose the origin point to place it there. And then the other thing you're going to be able to see is if I click and drag on this sketch, so I'm able to rotate it like this. So I'm going to go through and have it. Or I'm going to choose the horizontal vertical. Choose the top point of the pentagon. Choose the center or the origin. And that's going to fully constrain this sketch. And I'm going to go ahead and finish it. I'm going to extrude and I'm going to extrude this um, 0 0.0625 and then I'm going to throw a taper angle on here. So either I can enter the taper angle, taper angle here or I can press the tab key and this sets me over to my angle. And I'm going to do a negative 45 degrees to get this shape that you're going to see right here and I'm going to say OK. Okay, from here, I'm going to go ahead and change the appearance. So I'm going to modify the color of our of our screwdriver case is red. So I'm just going to go through, scroll down until I find paint. I'm going to choose glossy. I'm going to throw a red color on there just so that way it looks close to what we want. From here, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to click extrude. And I'm going to extrude the top face, which I don't really need a sketch for. I can just choose the top face. It's going to pick up the outside boundaries. And it's going to be 0.75, and I'm going to extrude that by pressing the tab key to get my taper angle at a negative 10 degree taper. And I'm going to say OK. So here's our starting of our screwdriver case. And we're going to, from here, I'm going to create another, I'm going to do an offset plane. I'm going to choose the top of my, my screwdriver case. And I'm going to offset it by 0.125 inches. So you're going to see this work plane is going to be set above that by an eighth of an inch. What we're going to do from here is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to click on Create Sketch. And I'm going to choose the work plane that I just set there. From here, I'm going to use Project slash Include under the Create panel using the Project option. And I'm just going to click Inside of the shape here to pick out the outside boundary of my pentagon from point. I'm going to say OK. This is going to give me some projection lines and what I'm going to do here is I'm going to find the ge geometric center for this shape. So in order to do that I'm going to trace along the edges here. When I see a blue X with a triangle I'm going to click and I'm going to draw down to this corner. And one thing I need to do is I need to make that a construction line. So I'm going to select that line and I'm going to toggle construction and I'm going to do that for all the lines here. So I'm going to draw another one so I find the midpoint. Go from here. Again, another, another way to go through and set construction lines. If I select it, hit the X key on my keyboard. That will also go through and find it. But I'm going to go through and do the same thing across the lines from corner to corner. And I'm going to wait at this point. We can also toggle them all at the same time. So I'm going to do the same one here. And now I'm going to go from the top point all the way down. That's going to have my midpoint. If I want to toggle all of these, I can hold Control or Command and be able to choose construction and that will make them all construction lines. So here you're going to notice that the origin of our sketch and the center of our part are a little bit different. So that's why the tapers kind of throw that, tend to throw that off. So I'm going to choose Center Diameter Circle, select the center of where those, all those lines cross, and I'm going to draw a circle out at 1.1 inches. And this is going to be a solid line circle in order to do that. 
I'm going to go ahead and say finish the sketch. I'm going to choose a loft. And I need two sketches here, so I'm going to rotate under. I first am going to choose the top face of the screwdriver case. And then I'm going to go up here and choose the circle to make it loft up to the circular component. And I'm going to go ahead and say OK. And there's what our screwdriver case will look like. From here, I'm going to apply a fillet on these vertical lines, vertical lines, and these are going to be set at a 0.2 inch. So that way we get this right here. And I'm going to hit cancel, and I'm going to do fill it, and I'm going to select all five of these first. So then that way I don't have to go through and set up all these different ones. So I'm going to choose these five vertical lines. So I should have five total, five total, five edges. I'm going to set the distance 0.2 inches and I, that should go through and round them all down. So that way we get that look on the screwdriver case on the front. I'm going to go ahead and say OK. Okay, from here I'm going to extrude the cylindrical portion or the cylinder from the circle, 0.5, and then I'm going to go ahead and do a taper angle of negative 2 degrees to make it somewhat tapered inward at the top. And I'm going to say OK. And I'm going to add a small fillet on the top edge of that circular extrusion, 0 0.03125. And I'm going to say OK. From here, we're going to go through and look at shelling the part. So I'm going to rotate around down to the bottom just to see what the shell does. So shelling the part, I'm going to just click on the bottom face, and then we're going to set the inside thickness to be 0 0.06. And you're going to be able to see here, this is what it shells it out to be, what it looks like. However, we're not quite ready for that, but you're going to be able to see the effect of after you go through and shell the part. So I'm going to go ahead and just say cancel to run the shell, or if you hit OK to accept the shell. You can always come down here to your model history tree, right click, choose delete to delete the feature. All right, we're going to add a short tapered extrusion off the bottom. So while we're here, I'm going to click Extrude, choose the bottom. We're going to extrude this 0 0.0625, and we're going to add a 3 degree, positive 3 degree taper angle to flare out to make our base. So now that we go through and we kind of have this in place, I can go ahead and create the center hole. Click Create Sketch, choose the top face. I'm going to choose a circle. This, uh, this circle is going to be a 0.25 inch diameter circle. And with it on the origin, we're going to be able to have it fully constrained. I'm going to extrude it. And rather than using the hole command, because then that way I can get a taper, so I'm going to do a negative 1.325. And I'm going to press the tab key, and I'm going to do a 2 degree taper here, so or negative 2. So that way it flares inward as opposed to out. out. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and say OK. And then what we're going to do is I'm going to create a new sketch on the same face on the top, and we're going to create the holes that go around the top. So I'm going to set a center diameter circle. I'm going to set it to be a construction circle, choosing the center and drawing outward. That construction circle is going to go through and have 0.688 as its diameter. And then when I choose the next circle, I want to make sure I uncheck construction. And I'm going to make sure that the center of it is going to fall right on that construction circle. I'm going to draw outward. This is going to be 0.125 inches. And the only thing that we have left to take care of, because it's still blue, is I need to do a horizontal vertical constraint with the center of that circle to the origin and that's going to make it fully constrained. I'm going to finish the sketch. I'm going to extrude. I'm going to choose the circle. Extrude down by 0.5, and I'm going to apply the negative 0.5. And then I'm going to go ahead and hit the tab key and do a negative 2 degree taper angle just like I did on the center hole. And that will give me my one hole here. I'm going to go ahead now, now and utilize the Create option.
go to pattern and choose circular pattern. Under the type, I want to switch to features. I'm going to select the hole from the model, or you can come down here and select the extrusion from your model history tree. And I'm going to make sure to go back to the dialog box and I have to choose select next to axis. And then I'm just going to go through and click like the top edge or the top circle around. And the quantity we want is going to be five. And I'm going to hit the OK button. And there's going to be our five holes pattern around. Now what we will do is I'm going to rotate this down. Now let's shell our part choosing the bottom face to remove 0 0.06 and now you can kind of see there's a difference between now that the holes are there it does add some material around the holes to give them some structure and there is what it looks like underneath. All right, when it comes to the last part, we are going to hit Create Sketch, choose the front face. We're going to create text. And with the text tool, you're going to be able to go through. I'm going to click, and I'm going to draw a rectangular box. I'm going to do this offside off of the part here. And the sample text, we're going to create the Craftsman logo. So Craftsman. I can go ahead, I'm going to select this in the text box, choose bold, so that way it kind of stands out. The height here has been point, point 0.1, is working pretty well because we want it to fit on this face. And then what I can do is I can say OK. I can also kind of size up the text box a little bit just to fit it. If I grab by the lettering, I can move it into place. And if I wanted to, I could also go through and set in some dimensions. So for example, I could go through and choose horizontal vertical and be able to find there's a green dot there, select it, choose the origin, that will vertically constrain them. And if I needed to, I could also dimension this. So by choosing, so you'll see there's the dashed line that kind of shows up, go to the origin, and I could set in a distance of how far away that I want it to be. So like here, this could be 0.25, and in that way, that would go through and help that. And now I can say finish sketch. Now, either one of two ways we can create this depends on your version. You can either go through and utilize the emboss tool, and we can select the sketch profile. So I can choose my lettering for the faces. I hit select, and then I can choose the face, and I can set what kind of uh, of an emboss that I want to go through. How far either up it's raised or how far it's engraved. I'm going to do raised lettering. And I'm going to do a very small amount, 0 0.002, because it's kind of just painted on there. And I can go ahead and hit OK. And now you're going to see there's the raised lettering. Now, either one of two things, I could, get, I could do that, or I'm going to go ahead and delete the emboss here. And here's my sketch. So if your sketch goes away, you can always expand the component, expand sketches, turn the visibility back on for sketch 5. You could also extrude, choose the lettering, and then, so the only thing is, is it looks like it's got two profiles. I can hold the shift key, deselect the face that's behind it, and then type in my extrusion depth of 0 .002 and say OK. So both ways will go through and work, and Boss does give you a few different new methods that can be done. Okay, the last thing we can do here is I'm going to, under Modify, go to Appearance, and in my appearance, I'm going to choose faces, scroll down, I'm going to go through, I still got my paint option, I'm going to choose white paint, and here I can zoom in so I can actually select the faces if I hold uh, control or command, depending on which platform you're on, I can actually go through, select all of the faces, so be careful of what it's being highlighted here, and then I can actually drag the white paint onto it and release and now this will go through and apply the white lettering. So I'm going to turn off the sketch if you turned it on that way we don't see the outline and I can uh, collapse these menus and this will finish up how to create the screw the craftsman screw